Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Arkansas RC Newbie, and on today's episode, I'm super excited to bring to you some RC all-wheel drive upgrade parts for the Red Cat Generation 7 Sport. Uh, we broke some stuff. Hopefully, this here will not only fix what we broke, but kind of be an upgrade. So without further ado, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. All right, guys, well, here she is, the Red Cat Generation 7 Everest Sport. Um, heck of a deal. You guys can check out the film links in the description below. Now, this thing is completely stock. The only thing that I have done to this thing so far, um, everything was for free. Nothing has been put onto this uh, crawler. But we uh, shortened the drive shaft in the rear here. We uh, did some modifications to the front so we can actually get some good articulation out of this guy. Not a bad crawler, kind of top-heavy, but I think that's due to this big body, right? And while I was playing with this thing, we've done a few episodes on it, I brought broke this here. Now, is that a front hub carrier? I think I was calling it a knuckle. It completely broke out on me, and uh, yeah, it's now a three-wheel drive action. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing today is some upgrade parts and hopefully fixing that, and um, just kind of helping out. Maybe I was thinking helping out the servo a little bit with getting a little bit more um, turning radius out of this guy, because this is definitely very bad. We went through a whole newbie score and all that. So, if you guys missed those episodes, make sure you go back and check them out. But uh, let's go ahead and go over the parts that I got from RC All-Wheel Drive. Okay, now I got these all for $36. Uh, pretty good deal from Amazon. We'll put the film link in the description below as well. These parts here are all aluminum. Uh, we've got the uh, rear axle covers. We've got some uh, hub carriers, and we've also got some steering hub carriers. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe these will help out with the uh, the turning radius of the Red Cat today. Now something I was hoping was that these were going to be a little bit heavier than the plastic, maybe helping get a little bit of weight on the bottom of this Red Cat, because like we were talking about with the um, newbie review, this thing is just so top heavy but all these parts here super super light but um aluminum is gonna be a little bit stronger than the plastic right so let's go ahead and uh take these front wheels off let's take a look and see how easy this swap's going to be today so i should have done if i was smart i should have ordered these parts already because if you guys go on amazon you can see that this is one of the high stress areas and a lot of people say hey man i went out and i was playing with this thing for an hour and it broke and that's pretty much the same exact thing that happened to me so it should be a pretty simple swap today at least I hope it should be. So one thing I'm going to do before we get started on this as well is I'm going to take this bumper off. This is a bumper that drives me nuts. After messing with the articulation, shaving everything down toward get a lot more flex and everything out of the body, uh, the bumper was actually um, starting to impede with the wheels. And that may have been an issue. The wheels are kind of getting hung up here and putting more stress on the axles. Um, so I'm thinking if I take this off, we'll get a lot more clearance. Uh, but now, once we got done doing the newbie score, newbie review, all that good stuff, we can actually start making some big changes to this truck. So, yeah, that's going to be a heck of a lot better now. So those tires won't be rubbing on there. You know, another thing I'm not a, I'm not a real big fan of on the Red Cap is I'm not a big fan of the uh, on-axle servo. Are you guys a fan of that? If you guys know, I know that they have a chassis mount servo plate that we can put up here. I just don't know if you can run it with these axles. If you guys know um, if you can run that with these axles or do I need to get the portal axles, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, you know, we're going to be starting doing some upgrades and I'm just not a fan of this. And I think on one of the um, crawler groups I'm a part of, I don't think you can run servo on axle. The goal after some of the upgrades on this thing, having to upgrade the servo, of course, um, upgrade these parts, maybe the axles, I'm not sure just yet. Uh, you know, part of the goal on this thing is to uh, take it to a crawling competition with some of the upgrades and uh, see how this thing does out on the course or against other people. The little dog bone sticking out. Um, what do you guys think about the those universal shafts? You know, the ones that are kind of the one piece CV joints? I think that's what that's called. Let me know what you guys think about that. We might be ordering some of those next. Maybe they'll help out with the training radius of this because these guys here do not have a lot of turning radius whatsoever. And you know, really after um, changing up the mounting position on the servo horn, um, it was mounted up on this top hole here. After moving it to the bottom one, I actually got a lot more turning radius out of it. If you guys missed that episode, make sure you guys go back and check it out. All the upgrades for free. And there was really no need to go in and shave these points here. Some people were asking me, Wanna Ride Bikes was asking me if we went ahead and shaved these down as well. But um, I, I kind of got full turning radius out of that servo and it wasn't even getting close to uh, hitting any of these little endpoints here so might be something we'll have to look at maybe after this little upgrade will actually be hitting these endpoints now this set did not come with any type of bushings 
or bearing so we'll have to reuse these ones but i'm hoping that um they fit in there okay we got those out and you can actually see here there's a left and a right stamped on this and on this one here there's no left and right but they look the exact same I mean, they look identical, so I don't know if that's going to be a difference with actually having to change these things out. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I hope this isn't a fail. I'm a little bit worried about the steering linkage back here, if it's actually going to fit. Let's go ahead and uh, put this guy on the axle and see what it looks like. Not a lot of turning radius there. And again, I'm not even hitting on that little knuckle portion there. I mean, there's still a pretty good sized gap. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of similar to what we just took off. It wasn't even hitting that. And I'm wondering, okay, so if that goes there, I think we'll be okay. Does that look right to you guys? I think we'll be okay there. I'm not sure. So when we had the right side over here, um, or the passenger side, we had that hooked up. There was a pretty big gap, but this whole arm here was bolted on underneath. And then we just had the uh, top bolt going through. Something I'm not too sure about is when we go to bolt this guy up all completely, are we supposed to put this on top, or does that really matter at this point? Or should these two over here even be separated? I'm not positive whatsoever. And I guess we can play with it and kind of get a, get an idea of how it should be. But here, both of the uh, little arms that come out for the uh, the carriers, these are both threaded. So that right there seems kind of right to me. But then we hardly have any steering. Like, it's not even... It's, like, worse than what it was. So, I think I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know. Um, I mean, it looks good, you know? It looks really good up there. The red, actually, I like it. It goes with the rest of the red cat with the Hexfly ESC and everything up here. But something just does not it's seem right. This is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to unbolt these. Um, luckily, I've got some other linkages. I think this guy's way too long now. And, you know, not that it's Amazon's job or the description or the seller's job to be like, hey, when you order these, you need to order this as well. But I'm going to go with this linkage here. This guy is too long. Luckily, I got some more linkages, but it is like at least a quarter of an inch too long. You guys can see that. So let's get into my linkage department here, my collection that I've collected. Okay. Uh, so here is the stock linkage. Obviously, that's quarter inch too long. Back when I did the Stealth X transmission swap on the RGT, we bought all these linkages, and they're aluminum, and some of them actually have a little bit of a bend to them. So I'm wondering if we can use one of these guys. This one has a bend to it, and none of these have bends to the, the linkages themselves. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I guess I'm going to go with this black linkage here. This is like a headache. I thought this would go so much easier. We're going to go ahead and power this red cat on. And we're going to see uh, what this servo does. Okay. Alright, so if I go here, right, directly dead center. So we're going to go through the top. See, it's nowhere near bottoming out. I mean, look at that. It's still a whole bunch of area that's got to go. Let me mess with the end point. That's max. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hook up this other linkage on the bottom. And let's see what, what we can do. Turn that up. That's terrible. There is like no steering radius whatsoever. It's worse. And I'm not hitting the pumpkin with that linkage. Let me move this to the top part of the servo horn. I believe that'll get a little bit better. I know a lot of you guys are out there watching this going, Dude, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I wish this was live. That's worse than what it was. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not even going to put these on right now, guys. I'm not even going to put these on. Um, these little rear um, hub covers, or whatever you want to call them. I'm a little disappointed in this. And uh, if you guys have any opinions 
or any parts I need to get, let me know. What do you guys think? I mean, look at that. That is terrible. Is that because it's an axle-mounted servo and that's just what you expect? Again, um, let me know on the... I know there's a servo mount up here that we can get for the chassis, but I'm not sure if I can use that without having portal axles because of the design of this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty disappointed in that. That's, that's really bad. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments. Again, guys, please hit this like button. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't part of the channel. Um, Arkansas RC newbie. I'm just trying to figure out what in the world I'm doing here. And uh, any help would be appreciated. Appreciate you guys watching. <laughs>